What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to continue working on the 2013 GMC Sierra. And in the last video, we jumped on the bed and got all the body work knocked out. And yesterday I got it primed in. We went ahead and gave the bed one final wet sand, got the truck nice and clean, and now it's all taped up and ready for paint. And that's the goal for this video. Since we are still waiting for the paperwork, there's been some kind of delay with the title. Uh, I don't think this should affect our state inspection since the primary damage was up here in the front. I thought it'd be a good idea to go ahead and smash the bed out of the way. So drop a like for good luck and let's get started.
All right, boys, so we got the color laid down. I got four or five passes with the base coat, and we got a nice coverage on all the primer patches. The paint laid down really nice and smooth. We're gonna give this a few more minutes to dry. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the clear coat. This is like my favorite part. Not only is it the final stage of the paint, but we should have a nice shiny bed at the end. Let's slick it in, eh? All right guys, so next day here, the bed is nice and dry. We let it bake all day Sunday, and I think it turned out pretty good for a garage paint job. I'm really happy with all the body work. All the body lines are looking nice and sharp. We didn't really take care of any of the damage up here because we are gonna be running these bushwhacker guards just to give the bed a little more protection. We did make a few oopsies. Got a few runs in the tailgate and another run on this bed side which is not too big of a deal. We got four coats of clear on it, so all that should get buffed out, but we're gonna save that till the end and wait until we paint the rest of the truck. Right now, let's go ahead and throw these tail lights on, get the tailgate all back together, throw the rear bumper on. I also found a matching wheel, which I'm pretty stoked about. These are the Fuel Avengers with the negative 18 offset, so I'm pretty happy we don't have to order a new set. And our rear drive shaft came in. Let's go ahead and throw all this on the truck and just go from there.
All right, guys, so we got the rear end all buttoned up. I got the new wheel on, and it is looking fresh. I went ahead and threw this used bumper on, but we're probably going to be replacing it. It's got some damage right over here. I just wanted to button all this up so we could pass the state inspection. Now we're going to move on to the front end and try to get all this buttoned up. So this bracket right here finally came in, and then we also got these two outer brackets in. As you can see, it's not wanting to line up right here. We got some aftermarket brackets and we got the outer tie rods in. So the ones we got from O'Reilly's wouldn't fit since we're running the Fabtech lift. We're going to go ahead and throw these on. Here's the part number if you're in the same boat. And then we're going to do a string alignment just so it's easier for my brother on the alignment rack. I'll show you guys when dad or brother gets home. It takes two people. For now, let's go ahead and pop this bumper off, get these brackets replaced, and then we'll move on to the interior install our airbag module and seat belts and we'll be good to go All right guys, so we got the front end all back together. We are gonna be replacing this front fascia. I didn't realize I grabbed the texture style. I wanna go with the paintable version. I think it'll look a lot cleaner on the truck. I went ahead and installed the old lower valence just on zip ties, uh, just to complete the bumper a little bit. And I forgot to order the clips for the new one. We are gonna adjust the bumper a little better, but I just wanna get the state inspection over with and we have to pull all this back off. I did also install the outer tie rods and we're not gonna worry about doing the string alignment. We're just gonna take it a good to go when they're not as busy. Right now, let's jump inside and install our seat belts. So before we get this airbag light cleared, I wanna give a huge thanks to today's sponsor, My Airbags. We've used them for a very long time and they saved us a ton of money rebuilding these cars. They do it all from your SRS module, your ABS module, the seat belts, and they can even reprogram your car mileage on the cluster. So check them out. All their info is in the description. Also, give them a follow on Instagram and throw in a Danny TV comment or something. Now let's get back to it.
we've got the interior all back together and our airbag light did clear on its own which is always a good thing we don't have to diagnose it with the scanner we got some ice cold ac blowing out in this beast now i'm gonna run to o'reilly's and swap out the sensor real quick and maybe clear some of these other lights so we picked up our abs sensor o'reilly's did have it in stock which always comes in clutch now let's get it installed that's a wrap for today we got all the lights cleared and now we're 100 percent ready for the state inspection which i can't wait to get a green light on that so we could finish painting the rest of the truck and then all that will be left is to wet sand and buff the truck out so we are starting to shop around for our next project i did read in the comments where some are tired of the truck builds but hey i can't please everyone but do drop your suggestions down in the comments on what we should rebuild next with all this said if you are new on the channel be sure to subscribe drop a like on this video also give us a follow on instagram at danny.tv thanks for tuning in and i'll catch you guys in the next one